Hey guys, it's today Johnson from Hellowell, and today I'm sharing with you guys my personal food prepping process to ensure that I eat healthy throughout the entire week. I'm telling you, if you want to eat healthy, organizing and preparing in advance, it really is key so that when you are hungry, when you get to those moments of time where you're just starving like that, you've got healthier food options already prepped and in your fridge or to take to work with you so that you're eating that instead of like takeout. So typically when it comes to my food preparation for the week, I don't bother with prepping my breakfasts in advance. Most days I just have a smoothie, so that's easy enough. I don't have to prepare for that. If you guys wanna see some um, breakfast food prep ideas, comment below, let me know. I can totally do that for you guys. Today I'm gonna to focus on prepping lunches for the week. Uh, I'm gonna do my dinner preparation for the week and I'm also gonna show you guys a couple of different snack preparation ideas. We're gonna start with our lunches right now. So I've decided that I wanna eat salads for lunch this week and with my salads, I always wanna make sure that I'm not just eating vegetables but that I'm also getting some healthy fats in there and my protein as well. So I'm gonna prep my veggies in just a second but first of all, I've gone ahead in advance before I started filming and I made a uh, really tasty walnut cheese. So I've got that as my healthy fat and then I've also made some black bean sweet potato patties. So this is gonna be my protein. Black beans have lots of protein in them and these are gonna go fantastic in the salads for this week. All right, up next, the most labor intensive part of the process is just cutting up the vegetables. to shred my cabbage and my carrots. And there we go, we got a big tub of grated carrot for our salads. So much easier than using a grater. So we're gonna do the cabbage now. fabulous shredded cabbage. All right, there we go. We've got all of our salad ingredients. I personally wouldn't recommend actually putting together the salads and having them all pre-made sitting in the fridge for a week. Um, I just find with vegetables, they release a lot of water, a lot of liquid over time. So if you make like all your salads in advance, pre-made in containers for the week, they're just gonna start to get like soggy and mucky, which is not enjoyable. So typically what I do, cut them all up, shred them all up, have them in their own individual containers. And then when I actually go to eat my salad, I just haul the stuff out, take a little bit of each and eat it fresh then and there. So that's all you guys really need to know for the lunches for the week. You're gonna wanna get some spinach or, or romaine or whatever kind of salad base you like, kale, but that's really all you're gonna need. And I promise you guys, having this in the fridge, it's gonna be so much easier. Don't you think you'd be more inclined to eat this if it was already pre-made in the fridge? as opposed to ordering pizza. I don't know, maybe not. Pizza is pretty damn good, but your call. All right, now on to prepping our dinners. So for lunches, I typically do like to have something fresh and raw, like a salad, like I just showed you guys. And then for dinners, I personally like to have something warm and cooked. So I've gone ahead ahead of time and made this homemade vegan shepherd's pie, which is such a delicious comfort meal. Um, but for dinners, you know, things like stews or soups, chilies, any kind of lentil based dishes, curries, um, spaghetti sauces, you know, things like this are fantastic because they're gonna keep in your fridge for up to a week and it's so easy to just cook them, portion them out, they're in the fridge, ready to go. So as you guys can see, I personally use glass containers for my food. I, as much as I can, try and stay away from plastics. There's a lot of talk about the plastics in our food disrupting our hormones, especially when we heat those plastics. So especially if you're gonna take it to work and microwave something in it, you really don't wanna use plastic. So I still do have some plastic containers, like I'm not that hardcore about it, but I'm slowly transitioning as much as possible into using just glass. There we go, you guys. 
six portions. I've got my dinners ready to rock for the week. By the way, if you guys want to see videos on anything that I've made today, uh, the shepherd's pie or the walnut cheese or the black bean sweet potato patties, just comment below and I can definitely do videos on how to make those things. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different snack ideas that you can prep for the week. So I'm gonna show you two different ideas today. The first one we're gonna do is veggies and hummus. So I went ahead of time and I made my own homemade hummus. So I'm just gonna prep these now. I'm gonna cut up my carrots and celery. Of course, you can use any kind of vegetables that you would like. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna chop that up. Well, that was easy enough. We've got our chopped veggies, our hummus. I'm telling you guys, easy, delicious snack. Another super easy snack idea that I really love, this is my personal favorite, is to just have an apple and some almond butter or peanut butter. So you could just throw this if you're going to work or to school, throw an apple in your bag. Um, I usually don't like to cut my apple in advance because it oxidizes and starts to brown. So usually when I get to work, I'll cut it up then. But yeah, just throw an apple in your bag and then a tablespoon of either peanut butter or almond butter. Make it a good big size spoonful. Done. All right, so there you go, guys. We've got our meals prepped for the entire week, some healthy, delicious lunches, snacks, dinners. I promise you guys, if you have this stuff ready and prepped in your fridge, you're going to be so much more likely to eat this as opposed to hitting up the drive through on the way home. So I really hope you guys like this video. I really hope that it's helpful. I'm here to help you guys as much as possible. So let me know if you like videos like this. I've got tons of different food prep video ideas because I do this every week. So let me know. Let me know if you want to see any of these recipes demonstrated. I can do that as well. Um, as always, comment below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Of course, the more subscribers the channel has, the more YouTube is inclined to push and share those videos and I really want to help as many people as possible out there uh, with this so please subscribe thank you guys so much I hope you have a fantastic week and we'll see you next time yeah.